Welcome to Marketing Blocks Academy. I'll show you how to create products inside the product tool in this video. The products tool helps you showcase or put your product right before your customers. Your product is the most important thing your customers care about. With the one page system, you can build a page that converts visitors into loyal paying fans. To access the tool, you need first to create a project. If you're yet to do so, please watch the video on creating a project. Once a project is created, open it, scroll down to find the product tool and click on it. The first thing you should do is set up your store. To do that, click on the settings icon here. You can customize your storefront by filling in all the details. Save the changes when you are done. To add your preferred payment gateway, click on the payment tab and click on add payment method. You can choose from the available options and provide all the details. Note, I just want to point out that if you do not add your payment method, your product page will not open up when you publish it. Here, you can also add your preferred autoresponder. After that, you can add products by clicking the products button and clicking on add product. Enter the name of the product, set product pricing, either a one-time payment or a subscription based. In this case, I'll leave it at one time. Set the product price and your preferred currency. Then select the product type, either digital or physical product. I'll go for physical product at this time and click on continue. Here, I will choose a template and click on use template. We can add product description and format the text the way we want it. Let's add a product image, then a product video. We can also add product benefits. If you also have a product testimonial, you can add one here. Over here, we can add more customization if you like. Under the pricing tab, you can change the product price and the currency. The design tab allows you to change the template and change the call to action, as well as the title color, button color, and background color. We'll come back to the funnel tab later. If you are selling a digital product, then you can upload the file here or add the link to where users can get the digital product after purchase. And for the bumper offer, we'll come back to it much later in the video. If you have already set up your autoresponder, you can set triggers here. That is what happens after a user carries out an action. Let's preview the settings to see how they appear. Nice and clean, right? If you're satisfied with that, then come back and click on Save and Publish. OK. Under the Sales Reports, you'll see all the sales you've made when you start getting orders. And for those who started the order process but didn't complete it, you'll find them under the Abandoned Sales. Now, let's create a funnel. Click on the Funnels tab and click on Add Funnels. Enter a name for the funnel. Click on the name of the funnel and follow the instructions. Create some upsells to add offers to your funnel. Go to Upsells. Click on Add Upsell. Under the Customers tab, you'll find all your customers there. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, kindly use the chat widget at the bottom right corner of this page or email us via support at marketingblocks.ai and be sure to hear back from us. Cheers.